This video is sponsored by Mubi. Go to mubi.com slash thomasflight for your extended free trial. So maybe you suddenly have a bunch of extra time at home for some reason. I don't know why that would be, but maybe you're asking yourself, what do I watch over the coming days, weeks, or months? Maybe you'll finally get around to watching The Wire. God, this America, man. My current personal project is to finally finish The Sopranos. Tony Gabagool, Grandma, something but fat and nitrates. Gabagool. Although I've been a little distracted by Tiger King. But I want to make some recommendations that might help you make the most of your viewing time while you're stuck at home. This video is not going to be a list of pandemic or disaster movies, although I have been thinking about HBO's Chernobyl a lot recently. What does the decimeter say? Uh, 3.6 wrong, but that's as high as the meter. 3.6. Not great, not terrible. Sure, if you're not freaked out enough already, you could definitely check out Contagion or the Andromeda Strain. Everybody's dead! What happened? <gasps> what is it? but that's not what this video is about. This also isn't gonna be a list of movies that I like and think you should watch. If you're someone who wants to learn more about film, and if you're watching this channel, I assume you are, what I'm going to recommend is that you create a watching project for yourself. I think focusing on viewing a smaller section of film can teach you a lot about the medium. I wanna encourage you to give yourself a small watching project that you can actually complete while you're at home for a few weeks or months. Completing it will give you a sense of accomplishment and you'll have learned something along the way. But what do I mean by a watching project? Well, for example, you could watch all of a director's films from start to finish. This is fairly easy with some directors like Terrence Malick, Wes Anderson, Stanley Kubrick, or Paul Thomas Anderson. If you do this with Wes Anderson, you'll get to see his style emerge and become more complex over the course of his nine films. If you do this with Paul Thomas Anderson, you'll get to see his incredible range, how his work is powerful when he's doing a massive melodramatic ensemble piece. You don't call him? You don't know to get involved in this business of his, of his, of my family. This is the family, right. me and him. Do you understand? There's right. no one else. And how it's also powerful, even when he's doing a quieter, much more subtle and understated character piece. Good morning. Good morning. What would you like to order? <clears throat> a Welsh rabbit. You can choose whichever director intrigues you. If there's one you really like that you've only seen one or two films by, make it a goal to watch the rest of that director's filmography. Although I will say there are some directors that are a much more ambitious project than others. Another project you could tackle is to explore the films of a specific country. Parasite's recent popularity has interested a lot of people in what Korean film has to offer. But if you've never taken the time to explore Japanese film, French, Russian, Italian, and many others, there's a lot to see out there. Obviously you can't watch all the films from a country, so I recommend narrowing things down by looking up the top directors from the country and choosing a few films from each director to check out. For example, if you want to explore Japanese cinema, you could check out some of the films by Akira Kurosawa. Ozu. Miyazaki and Takeshi Kitano. If you want to explore Korean cinema, you could start by watching some more Bong Joon-ho and then check out Chan-wook Park and Chang Dong Lee and expand from there. I love doing this because it scratches a similar itch that traveling does for me granted to a much lesser degree, but when you immerse yourself in a country's films, you can start to get a sense of the culture and the language. It's not just a way to learn about film, but a way to learn about the world. Instead of traveling around the world, you could travel in time. It's easy to watch mostly contemporary films or just the cream of the crop from the past, but why not pick a year and explore that year's cinema? You could check out 1939, often proclaimed the greatest year in American film, it has such classics as The Wizard of Oz, Stagecoach, Wuthering Heights, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. But if I dared to open my mouth against that dam, he promised to break me in two. And many others. Or maybe check out the year you were born and watch the top films or best picture nominees from that year. This gives you a sense of the trends at a specific time in film, but also a small snapshot of part of the culture at that time. Finally, you could explore a smaller genre of film or a film movement. 
You could go for a more famous one like the French New Wave if you haven't checked it out yet. Just start with some Godard and Truffaut. <laughs> Or you could try the film noirs of the 40s and 50s. What is it? Does it have to be something? Well, you're a friend of mine, but when a man from the Homicide Squad just drops in at 2 o'clock in the morning, I kind of... Working on Cypher, huh? Just fooling around. Which you could expand into a larger project if you followed the thread forward into the present, watching the genre develop as it becomes neo-noir. Or you could go for something a little more obscure, like the recent Greek weird wave. Many people have seen The Lobster. Have you seen John's leg? No. John, would you show your leg? Oh yeah. But did you know The Lobster's strange style is part of a larger stylistic movement in Greek cinema? You can start by moving backwards to Yorgos Lanthimos's earlier films like Dogtooth, and then branch out to films like Pity. <laughs> or Attenberg. Isn't that good? Although fair warning, if you're going to explore Greek weird wave, all these films are definitely really weird. You have a ton of options here, from the silent era movements of German Expressionism and French Impressionism to Italian Neorealism, American New Wave, I'll kill anybody who crosses me. You know what I mean? More recent and contemporary movements like Dogma 95 or Mumblecore. Hey, I want to thank you guys. I want to. I'm glad that y'all brought this pizza, you know, and that yeah. we get to share this. This is cool. Seriously. It oh, is. Man, we're, we're happy to be here, man. Well, you cool. are so sweet. I'm so happy to meet you. My suggestion is to find something that sounds interesting to you, and then do a little research and make a list of films to watch from that movement. People often ask me if I've gone to film school or what kind of training I have to make these videos. Education. I studied reading and spelling. And the truth is I have no formal training in film analysis. I've been a full-time editor for years and I've worked on video production and film sets, but the greatest education I think you can get in film analysis and criticism is watching films. And crafting a project like one of these for yourself to focus on a single subject, time, place, or director's work can be a fantastic way to educate yourself. It allows you to see how trends and techniques develop and how styles can form across an individual creator or entire country's work. This video is brought to you by Mubi. Mubi is an online cinema streaming and download service. They have a hand curated library and one of the things I love about Mubi is that sometimes they'll focus on things like a smaller film movement. It's how I discovered Greek Weird Wave and the movie Pity. If you're sitting at home wondering what to watch and you want somebody to help you find something, Mubi can be a great way to discover stuff. So give it a try today. You can get your extended free trial when you go to mubi.com slash thomasflight. That's M-U-B-I dot com slash thomasflight or click the link in the description for your extended free trial. Thanks so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe in this crazy time. I want to thank my patrons at patreon.com slash thomasflight. Their support helps me continue to make videos.